what if one of the greatest archaeological discoveries of the 20th century has been misunderstood for decades? What if the Dead Sea Scrolls, instead of being the product of a single secretive sect, were actually the voices of an entire people, priests, scribes, rebels, and visionaries, desperately preserving their culture before it vanished? And what if artificial intelligence, in the year 2025, has just given us the tools to see what one brilliant but controversial scholar predicted over 30 years ago? In 1947, a young Bedouin shepherd tossed a stone into a cave near Qumran and heard the sound of breaking pottery. What he had stumbled upon would become one of the most important archaeological finds in modern history, the Dead Sea Scrolls. Over the next decade, archaeologists uncovered tens of thousands of fragments, representing nearly a thousand manuscripts. They contained some of the oldest known biblical texts, alongside sectarian writings, hymns, calendars, and apocalyptic visions. From the beginning, scholars wrestled with the same question, who wrote these scrolls and why were they hidden here? The dominant theory, promoted for decades, pointed to a small Jewish sect known as the Essenes, who supposedly lived in the nearby settlement of Qumran. According to this view, the scrolls were the library of a religious community that deliberately withdrew from the chaos of Judea. But in 2025, a breakthrough study began to crack open this narrative. Dutch researchers unveiled ENOCH, an advanced AI system trained to analyze handwriting styles and compare them with radiocarbon dating. What Enoch found was startling. Texts once thought to have been written in different centuries in the so-called Hasmonean and Herodian scripts actually overlapped in time. That means scribes using different styles were active simultaneously, suggesting multiple sources and multiple communities. Even more surprising, carbon dating revealed that some manuscripts, like fragments of the Book of Daniel, might be closer in age to the events they describe than anyone had imagined. In other words, parts of the scrolls could be eyewitness level, not centuries later copies. For many, this was groundbreaking news. But for those familiar with the work of Professor Norman Golb from the University of Chicago, it sounded like vindication. Back in the 1980s and 1990s, Golb challenged the orthodoxy. He argued that the scrolls weren't the product of a single group like the Essenes, but a collection of manuscripts from across Judea, from Jerusalem libraries, priestly circles, and various Jewish sects. In Golb's reconstruction, the scrolls were hidden in caves during the Jewish revolt against Rome around 70 CE as Jerusalem was burning and the temple was destroyed. The caves of Qumran became emergency vaults, not the private library of an isolated sect. For decades, Golb's theory was dismissed by many as fringe or even heretical in the world of biblical scholarship. Yet his central claim, that the scrolls were diverse in origin, is exactly what new AI-driven analysis now seems to suggest. This is where things get fascinating. AI isn't just redating manuscripts, it's dismantling the illusion of uniformity. Enoch can detect subtle variations in handwriting invisible to the human eye, revealing multiple scribes working in different traditions. When you combine that with the overlapping dating, the picture is clear. The Dead Sea Scrolls were not the singular voice of a marginal sect, but a chorus of voices. They represent a broad cross-section of Jewish thought, biblical, sectarian, mystical, and revolutionary, gathered together in a time of crisis. This is exactly what Golb envisioned, not Essenes in the desert, but communities across Judea pooling their texts for survival. But what does this mean for us today? If the scrolls come from diverse hands, then they are not just sectarian curiosities. They are a national archive, 
a mirror of Second Temple Judaism in all its complexity. It also raises a more personal question, how many other bold theories, rejected for decades, might find new life once technology gives us the tools to test them? How much of our past has been shaped not by evidence, but by scholarly consensus, and how quickly that consensus can shift? Norman Gold passed away in 2020, long before A, I would confirm the outlines of his vision. But today, his theory stands transformed, no longer radical, but newly relevant. The Dead Sea Scrolls are no longer the silent library of a forgotten sect. They are the survival strategy of a people in crisis, a time capsule of diversity and defiance buried in desert caves. And as AI continues to read the past in ways we never imagined, we may yet discover that history itself has been waiting, quietly, patiently, for us to catch up. The Dead Sea Scrolls remind us that history is never fixed in stone. It is alive, shifting as new discoveries rewrite the past. What else lies hidden, waiting to be uncovered? And what other long-debated mysteries could modern science finally illuminate? If you've enjoyed this journey into one of the most intriguing puzzles of human history, make sure to subscribe and join us for more explorations into the ancient world, lost knowledge, and mysteries that still defy explanation. Your curiosity keeps history alive.